Hi everyone and welcome. In this video, we're going to deploy a new virtual machine from a VM template. As you can see, I'm already in a vCenter session. I'm going to navigate to VMs and templates view, and I'm going to right click on my CentOS template and select new VM from this template. The deploy from template wizard launches. We need to give a name to our VM. And we also need to specify where we're going to store that, which is going to be in the lab VMs folder. Click next. We are going to specify ESXi1 as the host that we're going to deploy to. We can see that compatibility check succeeds. Click next. Which disk are we going to store it on? In this case, we're going to use the iSCSI data store. And just to demonstrate that you can change the provisioning, we can either keep it same as source or specify thick or thin provisioned. It is thin provisioned already, but that won't make a difference. Click next. We are going to customize the operating system and we're also going to power on once this is done. Click on next. We can specify which customization specification we want to use. This is the CentOS custom spec we created in a previous lab. Select that and click next. We need to provide an IPv4 address since we configured this custom spec to ask for that. We have our IPv4 address and subnet mask. Excellent. Click next and finish. We'll watch that this completes. It won't take very long since the virtual disk is fairly small. That's done. Here's the VM. We can see it's powered on. I'll select it and we will give that a minute to boot up and be ready to check it out. Okay, that's about a minute later. We can see that this is now booted up. VMware Tools is running, which is good. We can see our IP address and DNS name. I'm gonna log into this and check a couple of things. So I will launch the web console. We'll log in as the root account. And we can see that we're in. We'll just do a quick check and make sure that the CPU busy script is available, which we're going to need for later on, which it is. And we're all good to go. So that's a wrap for the video. Hopefully this has been helpful for you. And we'll see you next time.